The 2019 LSU football team is the greatest college football team of all time. So I am taking the players on that team that have made it to the NFL and putting them on one roster in Madden 23. They will have three NFL seasons to accomplish as many as the following goals as they can. Have a defensive or offensive player of the year. Have a player win the MVP award. Have a player reach a 99 overall in Madden. Win 12 games in the regular season. And obviously, win a Super Bowl. Lastly, I will have a yearly challenge and if I complete it, I will be able to add any LSU alumni that I want that is currently active in the NFL. And here is the starting LSU offense in year number one. Now, we don't have every single player that was on the LSU team because some of them aren't in Madden right now like Thaddeus Moss, the tight end for this team. We don't have him, but at wide receiver one, we are going to have Justin Jefferson. At wide receiver two, we are going to have Jamar Chase. The starting running back for this team is going to be Clyde Edwards Alaire. And our QB one, obviously it's going to be Joe Burrow. The offensive line has a few LSU players on it and some New Orleans Saints. So the cornerback one on this team is going to be Derek Stingley Jr. Hopefully he turns into a 90 plus overall in the next few years. We're going to have Patrick Queen at the middle linebacker spot. We have Grant Delpit at the strong safety. And because there's no left ends from LSU in this game from the 2019 squad, we are going to include Cameron Jordan for this team. And since it is year one, we're going to be nice and we are going to add a free LSU alumni that was not on this team to the roster. It's going to be 91 overall honey badger right now lsu and the saints are four and three they are tied for second place in the nfc south Burrow's having a very solid start to the season 2,000 yards through seven games 13 touchdowns and two picks on the ground you got ceh with 108 rushing attempts for 360 yards you have davis price with about 130 yards then for the receiving numbers we have a mix of lsu players and some saints we have justin jefferson gonna lead everybody with 614 yards four touchdowns juan johnson's our starting tight end he's got five touchdowns Downs. Jamar Chase with 332. MT is healthy this year. He's playing for this team. CH with 224 yards. And then we have Davis Price with 94 and Terrence Marshall with 58. We have a win and get in year one with this LSU team. I honestly didn't expect them to make the playoffs here in year one. But when you have Joe Burrow and ice in their veins, they might be going to the playoffs. They have to play the Carolina Panthers that are also 9-7 and seven for the NFC South. And we are jumping into the first game of the entire video for a win and get in, in the Superdome, Joe Burrow throwing it over the middle. Is that Edwards Alaire? I can't tell at the moment. Everyone's got New Jersey numbers, and it is Clyde Edwards Alaire. I believe they won the national championship in the Superdome, too, if I'm not mistaken. And that was a little bit of a mix up there. He was looking for Jamar Chase, but two receivers in the area. We got a big third down already. The Panthers scored. So it's 7-0 Carolina right now. Can choke in the week 18. Win and get in. Joe Burrow going deep. It's Justin Jefferson. Just as you say that. A huge pickup. What a throw by Burrow. Not surprised at all. Again, is he looking for Justin Jefferson? No. This time, it's Jamar Chase. And we got some gritties already in the win and get in. We'll go ahead, actually, and take a look at a couple plays here for the defense, too. You have Cameron Jordan, Tyron Matthew, Stingley. They're going to run this ball. Chuba Hubbard made a terrible move. Somehow still picks up the first. We'd love to see a pick from an LSU alumni right now. We got a few guys that can definitely do it. Sam Darnold going to the outside. We are going to super sim this now. And sadly, it's not looking like LSU is going to make the playoffs in year one. Really disappointing, honestly. I thought the Panthers team, they definitely could have beaten for the division. Maybe they get lucky and get a wild card spot, though. I honestly didn't even check out the bracket with only two minutes and 15 seconds left. They have all three timeouts, but they would need an absolute miracle. It looks like they probably will punch it in here after the two-minute warning. Joe Burrow's got X-Factor, though. If it was a 16-point game, I'd say they have a shot. The defense really let them down in this game, giving up 33 points to this team. And there's a wide-open CEH for a touchdown. The onside kick is recovered by Carolina, which isn't good news. One more first down is basically going to end it, and that's going to do it. LSU is going to get knocked out here in year number one, but we are going to upgrade this team. A few moments later... And just as I say that, they get lucky. LSU still going to the playoffs. They got a wild card spot. They're going to face the Eagles here. They are the number seven seed. Before we get into a playoff game now, even though they lost, which is crazy, we got to check out the stats here. Joe Burrow, 4,700 yards, 31 touchdowns, eight picks. Edwards Alaire, not bad. 800 yards on the ground. Davis Price with 367. Even Joe Burrow with 183. Justin Jefferson dominated almost 1,600 yards here. He might win Offensive Player of the Year, which we need as one of the goals. Jamar Chase, a little under 1,000 yards. Juwan Johnson, 755. MT with 604. 
Pretty disappointed though in Terrace Marshall. I thought he would have more yards. We'll watch a few plays here on the opening drive. They're playing the Eagles. My Giants are playing the Eagles in the real playoffs. That's why I'm rocking the Giants jersey. Just beat Minnesota the other day. So let's see what happens with this Saints team. Come on, LSU. Watch a few plays. Joe Burrow. Anything could happen when you have Chase, Burrow, and Jefferson, though. Over the middle. Is that Michael Thomas actually playing this year? A possible three points on the board here for Joe Burrow and LSU. As long as they don't throw a pick here, fumble, anything like that. At least three points coming. But instead, why do that when you can go to Justin Jefferson? We're a good luck charm right now. The drives we've watched have all resulted in touchdowns. Justin Jefferson in the gritty. Unfortunately, after this touchdown, my camera froze and I did not realize it at the time, but LSU did win this game. Really disappointed that my camera crashed because that game came down to the final play. But now in the divisional game, they are going to get the San Francisco 49ers. We're not going to watch this game. If they go to the NFC Championship, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look. So we are just going to sim it. Does the LSU luck continue? A few moments later... No, they lose it 33 to 28 to end year one. And then at the end of the season, sadly, we did not win any awards. I really thought that Jefferson would win Offensive Player of the Year. So now we bring out the challenge wheel and we are going to see going into year two, if we can add another LSU alumni to this team to help us get a little bit better. And we have to get the first points in an NBA 2K online game. We got to win the tip. The tip is super essential. Good job. He's not moving. He's not moving. We'll take it. Box him out. Drop step, Mitchell Robinson, put it up, Mitchell Robinson, and that's the first point of this game, we get the upgrade. Our next LSU alumni to add is going to be Daniil Hunter to help this defense who played for the Tigers from 2012 to 2014. We also have Justin Jefferson going into the second year, becoming a 99 overall. And with Justin Jefferson becoming a 99 overall, we have accomplished our first goal. A much better second half of the season, though, for the Saints. They finished the season 8-9, and nine. sadly do miss the playoffs here in year two. The Carolina Panthers are surprised this year. Burrow had a great touchdown interception ratio beginning of the season. Still pretty solid, but not as good as it was. 41 touchdowns, 12 picks, about 4,700 yards. No 1,000 yard rusher for this team. Edwards Alaire with 880. Davis Price with 267 and 212 on the ground for Burrow. Justin Jefferson, another great season though. Almost 1,500 yards. Michael Thomas over 1,000 yards receiving. And Jamar Chase with 944. Once again, after year two, we have no award winners. We only have one more year to save this team. We need to add another great alum for this team, and we are going to get the first touchdown in a Madden online game to get another player. Looks like he wants to blitz a lot of people, so we got to get an extra blocker here. Olave, though, one-on-one. -on -one. Olave, and he's got a ton of speed. Get past Jair. Oh, I thought he was going to be gone, but that is a great throw. A great job by Dalton right there. Wide open, Jawan Johnson. Can he go all the way to the end zone? Two plays or three plays, and we got another upgrade. Final LSU alum that we're going to add is Leonard Fournette, 89 overall, that played for the Tigers in 2014 to 2016. But whatever gets him to the playoffs is all that matters because the Saints are the number one seed in the NFC and get the bye in the wild card round. They finished second in the entire NFL behind the Kansas City Chiefs with a 12 and 5 record. And with them winning 12 games this season, we can knock off another goal. Joe Burrow throws for just about 5,000 yards this year. 36 touchdowns and 11 picks. Leonard Fournette picked it up in the second half of the season, got 600 yards rushing with only 158 attempts. He's heating up at the right time. Edwards Alaire with 900 yards. And Michael Thomas did finish the season with the most receiving yards on the team. 1,300, Jefferson 1,250. Trevor Malone is a rookie wide receiver that they draft, or a rookie tight end rather. He has 866 yards. And then we have Jamar Chase with 850. Everything has been in favor of the Saints slash LSU this year in year three. They get the Cowboys in the divisional. It has been so long since we've watched this team in the playoffs so we are going to watch this first drive in its entirety joe burrow rescues michael thomas he's got three elite wide receivers and this rookie tight end a lot of running though can they pick up the first they're gonna go three now with ceh not picking up any yards and that's not good because the cowboys scored a touchdown on their opening drive but there you go the saints answer right away with a three and out from the cowboys but they take a 14 to 7 lead Saints answer. I wanted to jump in right there before the half, but we have a tie ball game. We're going to super sim this the entire way and jump in, in the key moments if we can. Here we go. Third and five for LSU from the nine yard line. Where does Joe Burrow like to go? Definitely going to throw here. He drops back, looks over the middle, and who is it? It's Trevor Malone, that rookie tight end with a touchdown. Can the defense clamp up and get some stops? Here we go. They are second and two from the two now. 
a turnover or a three and out from Dallas. And Joe Burrow and the Saints and LSU are back inside the two-yard line. The give, four net, easy walk-in touchdown. With a 14-point lead, the Cowboys make it a seven-point lead, but I think their victory formation. Joe Burrow knees it out, and the Saints slash LSU are going to the NFC Championship. It's the two best teams in the NFC Championship game. 12-5 Seattle versus the 12-5 LSU team. NFC Championship, we got a 3-3 game. It's a low-scoring game right now. Field goals only until LSU comes out and gets a touchdown. They have another drive going right now with a chance to go up two possessions in the NFC Championship. Second and six, third and eight. They pick up a first. We would jump in, but I assume they're going to kick three. It's good. They take a seven-point lead. We go back to Super Sam, and there it is. A touchdown for LSU to take a 20-6 to six lead. It happened so fast. We couldn't even jump in, and there's a turnover by Seattle. And now this game is out of hand. LSU is going to the Super Bowl. Wasn't even suspenseful at the end. They dominated Seattle. And for the Super Bowl, it's the 14-3 Chiefs versus 12-5 LSU. Super Bowl time there's Patrick Mahomes there's Isaiah Pacheco the Chiefs are here but we're here to see one team and one team only Justin Jefferson the Saints LSU Leonard Fournette new addition this year paid off big time the defense is ready and we have a good game on our hands and we have to jump in and watch the entire first opening drive on offense for this team in a Super Bowl I believe it's Super Bowl 59 and the first place to Fournette for a couple. Need to score first against Mahomes and the Chiefs because they're going to put up a lot of points. I would imagine Burrow's hit, but he's able to get that one away to CEH. It picks up the first, but they made it work. They find their way into the Super Bowl on the opening drive. They're working the ball down the field a little bit. A lot of runs, though. Using the running backs a lot. Finally, a play action, but Burrow going to be taken down. But here we go. Super simming time. The Chiefs. They take a three-point lead. They take a 10-point lead. Saints have the ball, though. First and 10 from the Chiefs, 29. Take it slow. Seven-yard reception for CEH. Michael Thomas gets them to the 10. And we jump in to make this a one-score game, hopefully a three-point game. Joe Burrow has been using the running backs a lot. Will they go to Jefferson? Chase, MT, they will pass. Burrow. Looks for Leonard Fournette in the backfield and picks up a few yards. And you know in a real game, their QB sneaking this. But in Madden, they don't really do it in Super Sim. So instead, they give it to CEH, who could not have an easier touchdown to make it a three-point game. They want the first. They give to Fournette. Did Fournette get enough? I think barely. No, they're going to mark him fourth and inches. I don't even think it's fourth and inches. I think it's fourth and an inch. No QB sneak. They're going to pass wide open over the middle. I think it's that rookie tight end. And now second and goal from the one. It's about the one and a half yard line. Again, give is to Fournette, and he's in for the lead. Back to Super Sim we go. Is Mahomes going to march down the field? He's not. It's going to be 21 10 Saints. 28 to 13 Saints. Oh, and about to take another touchdown. This Super Bowl is LSU's to lose. To make it a three possession game, Burrow all the time in the world. Finally fires, and over the middle, it's Michael Thomas, who became a stud wide receiver for this team once again. And we're just going to simulate to the end. I think this is game 42 13. This one is over. We don't even need to jump in. This LSU offense was unstoppable in the Super Bowl. They put up 49 points, and the defense played good enough, holding Mahomes to 27 points for LSU and the Saints to be Super Bowl champions. And here comes the Lombardi Trophy. It's not the college football championship trophy, but I'm sure they're happy to win a Super Bowl altogether LSU team. Back in Louisiana with the New Orleans Saints. They'll send a Super Bowl trophy to Louisiana again. Joe Burrow, he's going to hoist it. And there it is. LSU gets a Super Bowl in this simulation. And with that Super Bowl win, we can knock off the hardest goal of the video. Thank you for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new, in the comments down below, let me know what video, what challenge do you want to see next. Peace.